Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to a new video series. So I'm actually kind of excited for this. I've been looking for an excuse to play Skyrim on the channel for a really long time, but I didn't really know how to make it interesting because like it's Skyrim. Everyone's played it for at least 12,000 hours. Um, but I purchased the anniversary edition. <laughs> cool. I purchased the Anniversary Edition, and uh, it comes with new stuff, like fishing, and I'm sure there's some other things in there too. This might be the worst investment I've ever made, only time will tell, um, but we're gonna play this and see what happens. Now the other thing that they added is this thing called Survival Mode, which um, I'm sure it will tell us exactly what it does. Trying to cross the border, right? Yes, yes, we've all heard this before. Anyways, so, um, I'm sure it'll tell us exactly what it does, but... Long story short, it's gonna make the game a bit harder, so... I'm gonna do a survival playthrough, and... I'm also going to... Add in a little... Little permadeath rule. So, we're gonna go as long as we can. And, uh... Just see how far we can get. Alright, so obviously I'm gonna skip through this intro a little bit, because... Man, if you guys had any idea how long I spend in character creation just to make the most normal looking guy. Okay, so uh, I went with a Nord, because I know in survival mode, you have to, uh, you know, deal with the cold. I don't know if the Nord's cold resistance is even gonna apply to that, or if it's still just is talking about, like, frost spells. Um, but, you know, if I get punished for, for having a plan, then so be it. Speaking of a plan, I do have actually a little bit of a plan for getting started here. Um, to keep things interesting and not just cheese the game with a stealthy archer build, I'm going to shake things up, do conjuration. I never really do that. Uh, so we're basically just going to rush some bound weapons and call it a day. I don't know why I said call it a day. We're going to do that and then like that's literally the beginning of our adventure. We're gonna... We're gonna greet the day. Head on. Here's the dilemma I'm having, though. Um... The, the whole... Conjuration thing... Was genuinely... A premeditated plan. But... Playing a Nord really makes me want to just use two-handed weapons. So... I don't know. Obviously, there are no two-handed bound weapons. That's not even true, by the way. So I might just have to suck it up and deal with it. Damn. No way to open this from our side. Or my plan could just go to hell immediately. Maybe bound weapons are terrible. I haven't used them since I was like 12. And... Perhaps we'll just switch to a two-handed weapon anyway. What if I just died here? Okay. We'll get started early on the on the one hand grind. I'm gonna dual wheel just because for one, it's cool. Everyone knows that. And two, there's not a bound shield either. So like why would I Why would I have a regular shield and a magic sword? That's ridiculous. Everyone would laugh at me. Also let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. Do you guys play in first person or third person? I personally play in third person all the time, but I get roasted every time I say that out loud, so... Being like a pretend first person player... Hell yeah. Definitely one, one thing I like about first person is just the uh, first person executions. Gonna grab the magic stuff just cause that's what we're using, probably, possibly. Do I need anything over here? I don't think so. Nah, we're leaving the shield. We're not a coward. Not yet, anyway. Oh, difficulty 
Should be set to adapt. Yeah, alright, so... I'm gonna leave it there for now. I don't want to go easier than that. If we have to, we'll turn it up. Um, but I don't want to just get, like, one shot by something right away. Adept is usually okay, difficulty-wise, I think. Also, probably goes without saying, but I'll just say it anyway. I'm not gonna, like, do any save scumming. So, like, I'm literally just... I'm not even gonna save. Obviously, the game's gonna auto-save, but... If I die, I die. And we're going to live with any mistakes we make. Actually, you know, I just remembered something. The other thing I want to do in this playthrough... I am going to end up leveling Sneak and all that stuff, because I want to get into Alchemy. I remember I heard there's some new Alchemy stuff, and... I think the coolest thing to do with Alchemy is to go with the whole pick pot, pickpocket poison thing. Where'd you go? Nice. Owned. Alright, that was not not hitting me very hard. So, I have to turn the difficulty up. I'm gonna fight these bandits outside and see what the game is actually kind of feeling like. And then we'll make a call. Because I feel like the bear might be toned down for um, tutorial sake. Okay. Ads need to eat, sleep, and stay warm. Also adds additional challenges such as no fast travel, reduced carry weight, and leveling up only when you sleep. Yes. Wait. No. Alright, so there's a sun next to the the compass. Okay, these guys are falling pretty easily. I don't know, maybe. They're not doing a lot of damage to me, but I'm not doing a lot of damage to them either. I still can't decide. If it's a little too easy for a while, so be it. Alright, so now, on with uh, our plan. I have some crazy tricks up my sleeve, believe me. Hunger. You're hungry, which reduces your total available stamina, represented by a dark region in the stamina bar. Hunger also affects how quickly you can attack with weapons. Eat food to reduce your hunger. Cooked meals are significantly better at restoring hunger than raw, uncooked food. Eating raw meat may lead to contracting food poison. Okay. Okay, so that little sliver. And then do we have, like, some bad... Yeah, I'm peckish. Tax weapons are 10% slower. Already? That tiny little thing? Yikes. 30% less effective with using shields and sneaking. Huh, alright. So this is gonna be horrible. Oh, we get buffs, though, too. So now I gotta decide, do we want to... Do the warrior, the mage stone. These I'm gonna do the mage. Psych. Mage. I'm gonna do... The thief. Oh, this is too hard. We're gonna start with the warrior stone, just because I don't have my conjuration stuff yet, so it'd be a waste if I went mage right now. I was actually considering the for the alchemy, but we're not doing that yet either, so still a waste. Um, and honestly, I'm probably just not going to come back and change it because I can't fast travel. I just realized we're actually going to be taking the food from Girder for like the first time in my life. That's why I like Iron Man-esque challenge modes like this. It's like... End up using you mechanics know, that you otherwise would never have used, like food. Retired, which reduces your total available magicka represented by a dark region. The magic bar fatigue also decreases how quickly you recover magic and stamina and the effectiveness of potions. Sleep in a bed reduces your fatigue. Sleeping indoors allows for more restful sleep than sleeping outdoors. Supplies. Oh, what's this all about? 
What are you two doing here? All right, cool. But is it safe for you to be here? So, all this stuff has like hunger points attached to it. But how much hunger do I have? Okay, so if you eat long enough, you get the well-fed bonus. So, I just eat until I feel good. Eighteen points of hunger, damn. Okay. That's some real restoration. Feel better. Nice. Just wasted all of that other food. That's fine. I'm peckish after taking out my weapon once. Oh god. I might need a shield, boys. <laughs> Health doesn't regenerate. You have to eat your spells, potions. This is gonna be tough. Alright, step one of my plan. Need a ride? Where do you buy a ride to Riften? Climbing back and we'll be off. Step 1.1. 1. 1. Steal all these flowers. Ready to go yet? Oh my god, what have I done? I'm tired and hungry. Okay. This is awful. Have a level up. You lie. Oh, wait, I have to find a bed. Oh, no. We have 100 gold still, okay. I am in I rough know, shape. You and Riften looking for trouble? Yeah. Last thing the Black I'm not- I'm- dude, I'm starving to death. I don't need you right now. Then you're- you better watch your ass around here. Flowers. Okay, to the inn. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you follow Get a bed, we get food, and we'll be fine. I hope. 220 points of hunger. Apple pies are busted. Pogfish. <laughs> Alright. Where is my room? Just keep the sermons at the tent. 3 a.m. we'll go to like just eight hours. That's a good amount of sleep, right? Okay, now I can level up. So Yikes. I think I want some stamina for sure for that extra um, carry weight. And then honestly I'm gonna go straight for one-handed. Just get some extra damage. Okay, so we're not tired anymore. Magic of health fixed itself, but stamina is still ruined. Um, if I eat an apple pie. Okay, so 220 was like... A quarter, maybe? That'll have to do. So we're actually gonna have to find meat and cook it. Make some real food. I'm not gonna lie, I am incredibly nervous about my plan all of a sudden. I didn't think I'd be in such dire straits already. Look at that stamina regen, it's horrendous. I didn't check either, does the armor have like warmth values? It does, okay. So my warmth rating is 96 right now. Still have no concept. Of uh, whether that's good or not. But we'll roll with it. 96 seems like a, a respectable number to me. I don't know about you guys. What is this? Oh no. I'm warning you. Back off. I can't help myself. He was low. That was good for us. Hawk beak, sure. Nice. Oh, conjure undying ghosts. Consume all magic and summon an undying ghost for 60 seconds. Pull it twice the amount of magic I consume. I'll take it. Worth it. But can we cook this up? Zombie. What? Restoration, that should come in handy. 
and I'm already in com I just- I took one look at the Dwemer piece and it made me overweight. That stuff is cursed. Oh, even arrows have weight? You're joking. Oh no. I come in peace, O oh wolf of the forest. Oh, there's more. Yeah, kill the goat. I'm sorry I had to end that way for you, pal. We're taking one for the team, though. I need rabbit meat. Nice. I'm gonna cook that up later. It's gonna be great. What have I done? That's a lot of red dots. Okay. Um, this is a little awkward, but my plan was, in fact, to go in there. <laughs> This is such a terrible idea. Oh, here they come. I think this is the place. Maybe it's not. Hold on, where am I? Alright, we got at least one bandit we gotta deal with. Stay back. It's just how it be sometimes, man. Okay, I'm stupid. We actually have to go so much further. So, we're gonna keep going. Hopefully these bandits leave us alone. Oh no. Well that's two down. A shovel, that could come in handy. Can't imagine why. Alright, third person time. I whiffed. So did you! That was a textbook counterattack. Please don't open that. I beg of you. Okay, cool. Oh man, what a great day for wolves to not have thumbs. Why don't you guys drop meat? Why can't you be helpful? Are you kidding me? How are there so many wolves? Sustenance. I'm the apex predator, get back here. Okay, this is the place. Can I use this to cook? <laughs> that didn't work. Just give it a second. It takes time to cook. I'm gonna open it again, those be ashes. Okay, this isn't working. This is probably not going to go well. Hold on, let's do a quick inventory of our requisitions. Resist magic, 10% of it. That should come in real handy. Store 25 stamina, 25 magicka. We'll, we'll use that actually, yeah and some health potions. My health is actually just gone right now. So we have to use a third of them. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, I'm... Do I... Uh, I'm taking a shield. Watch this, boys. That was not the correct button. My brain's too big sometimes. Magic by 10 points? Sure, why not? Coin purse, leather strips, leather scout armor. That's new. It's better. Okay, sure. What's the light armor, right? Yeah, crazy. 
Oh, it, we just hit the mother load, boys. Cheese wheels on cheese wheels. Some wheat for health potions. That's the only ingredient in the entire game that I can remember off the top of my head. We're in the belly of the beast now. Is someone there? No. No one. What would make you think there's someone here? Is someone there? Nope. Oh shit. Oh! oh, I thought that was gonna kill me. Oh god. Honestly, it wasn't even close. Alright, onwards. Another successful room. <gasps> oh, you shouldn't have. What if I just take all this wine and get like negative stamina regen, but I won't be hungry anymore. These cheese wheels aren't even- I'm actually gonna save them, cause I don't- Maybe they're like good for, uh, for cooking. Just put, you know, those recipes that call for a whole cheese wheel. Bitch, what's my health looking like? 64 out of 100. Not gonna lie, it could be better. Could be better. Why can't you guys just hit the shield with the arrow? Huh? Rabbit haunch, that's what's up. Whoa, bandit chief, hey, how's it going, friend? This seems like a fire moment. <gasps> That's not the black button. There's an actual wizard there, bro. What? What is my life? Escape tunnel. This is where we go to escape. Oh, she loaded in faster than me. Oh, what have I done? This is always what happens when I say I have a plan. It just it always ends like this. I'm popping it all. This is not looking good. No! Well, we made it to level two. <laughs> that went honestly only slightly worse than I anticipated. 
I didn't think I'd get that far, but I thought I'd get at least step one of my plan done. But I didn't. So that's going to do it, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.